Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! All right, all right, all righty then. Cut the tape is back despite me canceling the show. I just can't catch a break. So for today, I thought I'd show off a few things. Today we're gonna open something from a brand that we've never seen before on this show. We'll get to that later. But I did want to show this off. I don't. I don't show things off on this on the show. Like, you know, like. I just wanted to show this though. Mad Libs, Mad Libs, Bot Bots, came out 2021. I found this at a supermarket that I don't frequent very often, and it was the only one they had. It was five bucks. This is the type of stuff you guys need to let me know about. How can I collect this if I don't know about it? Come on, people. All right, we got a cornucopia of stuff going on today. I thought we'd start with some micro machines. Now, I was a little upset at the micro machine. That, that's really why I stopped cut the tape. I was so mad at micro machines. I was mad that the Transformers branded micro machine blind packs don't guarantee you a transformer inside. It it guarantees you a micro machine, but not a micro machine transformer. It's just a car that fits in with the world of transformers. So you got your little G1 inspired decoder. Uh, where does this go? Oh yeah, nowhere on the packaging. It goes on the figures itself, on the cars. I, we can't call these figures. We gotta call them cars. And in this set we get, this is from part four, Age of Extinction. Now I remember going to the theater, seeing Age of Extinction and thinking, when the Autobots were storming lockdown ship, I'm like, yeah, you know what? This was a, this was a pretty good film, all right. I'm happy with this. And then I realized, oh no, the Dinobots haven't shown up yet. We got another hour of this shit. Sure enough, we did have another hour of that shit. So you have your little stand here. You can put your vehicles on, Whee! right? But the QR code, it's not even a QR code. You put your text back over the little sticker on the bottom of the cars and it says shows you an autobot or decepticon symbol never mind that it's optimus prime and he has an autobot symbol painted on him i mean i understand wanting to make something with the sticker and the reveal but in this case let's try megatron Megatron has got a big purple Decepticon symbol right on the toe of his vehicle. Let's see here. Oh, sure enough, reveals that he's a Decepticon. My mind is blown. Uh, let's try Stinger. Now Stinger has a tiny Decepticon symbol on him. Let's use our decoder to see what faction he really belongs to. Oh, it's a Decepticon. Now this idea would have been cool if executed properly. Not passing, I mean, I am passing judgment, but it's, I, I just want it to make sense. Anyway, recycle, recycle. Everybody recycle, recycling's good. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, these are cool. Uh, Transformers, Classic Heroes Team, Dinobot Adventures, Bumblebee, All Spark Quest. 
uh, Grimlock. These kind of came out of nowhere. It's it's sort of G1 inspired, right? I mean, I, I, I mean to say Grimlock is a T-Rex and that it's G1 inspired would be like saying, all right, well, it's not the RID Grimlock from 2000, right? So, I, I mean, it's just, it's a Grimlock. It's Grimlock. It's, it's, hey, look at the style guide. Grimlock, these are the cues. It's got some gold around the neck, right? Silver little arms, little T-Rex arms. All right, cool. But these are little figures, transforming figures for the children. Children are important. And they're simple little transformations. Look at that. Yay, I've transformed all by myself. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, now, I tend not to like the cutesy stuff, but I am a sucker for G1. Um, I mean, if you gave me the rescue bots in this style, you know, I'd, I'd get a pack. I'd, I'd get the whole set, but I wouldn't necessarily get a second set to open unless I saw them on clearance somewhere. Speaking of clearance, yesterday I walked into the Walmart and in the clearance section, they had Shadow Beast and Buzzsaw for five bucks. And I thought, oh, I should buy all these because they had a whole bunch. And then I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. It's Shadow Beast and Buzzsaw. Moving on, we're going from small to large. You'll see at the end. Uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Shockwave. Why Shockwave Buzzworthy Bumblebee? I don't know. This is the Shockwave from another toy line put into Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging. Okay. What makes it Buzzworthy Bumblebee? Looks like Mirage is on the packaging art right here. I don't know. I, d I don't know. This is a Target exclusive marketing branded line. I, I don't know. Now, some of these have been slight repaints, slight, slight adjustments. You really have to have the two side by side. We actually did a whole other video on that. But here's Shockwave. Um, I don't know what he turns into. Is it a plane? Is it a garbage truck? Is it a coffee machine? If you were to name a Transformers coffee machine, what would you call it? Espresso? X espresso, like X brawn? I don't know. Hey! Now, this shockwave clearly is inspired by the Legacy Chug, uh, Revenge of the Titans, Fall of uh, Gobatron Shockwave. But, you know, it's curiosity. Like, pick a form and just roll with it. Like, I really, really liked the Trans Tech Shockwave. It never came out, it was just a concept. Look it up, you can Google it. It was basically G1 Shockwave as a car, but it was just, he was upside down and with wheels in the bottom, and that was the car mode. Um, if you ever seen Batman Beyond, the limo that Bruce Wayne drives in, it's the Batman, it's the Batmobile from the animated series turned upside down. I mean, it's got very limited articulation. The head doesn't move. All right, but it's simple to transform. It's Shockwave. It's, it's the, I mean, the kids are gonna love it because it's easy to transform. Okay. All right, so now we have Ironhide or RC as seen in the Bumblebee movie. I love that we're getting all those, you know, pre-Earth forms, absolutely love it. Uh, you know, I already have the ratchet open, so I'll save that one for later. Really wanna open RC. 
I love the fact, now even though we didn't see their alt modes, I could absolutely believe that looking at this alt mode, that's the alt mode from the film. Like I absolutely believe it. These are great. These are these are great. I'm really happy with these. Really, really happy with these. We get our instructions, we get our our warning, copyright, in all the different languages. And here she is. Now, I understand why deluxes have gone up in price and down in size. You know, old old guys like me remember when like a $10 Deluxe from Beast Wars was just this huge thing, you know? But that was 25 years ago. In some cases, more. Times have changed. The value of money has changed. What we get for our money has changed. So spend your money wisely. Oh my God. This is loosey goosey. Ah, oh, that is loosey goosey. That that is awful. The head's loose. The side panel's loose. That needs to stick up to get that classic RC feel. The legs are super tight. The elbow joints are super tight. Back is all loosey goosey. Nothing much can be done for the back, but parts like this that are at the ball joint, you know, that they snap off and they're just a little bit, you know, the pressure, the tolerance is a little off. What you can do is you can pop this off. You can take the ball joint and you can put a clear coating, like a, like a nail polish, clear coating nail polish on it layer after layer until you get the right tolerance. Um, another thing you can do, you can take museum wax, take a little little piece of it, and just put it on the back here so it holds it, and then when you transform it, take, a, take that off, transform it. I uh, was all excited for this figure, and now it's all loosey-goosey. And um, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. It doesn't even snap together right. Man, you know how you build things up and then it just turns into like, I mean, you build it up in your head and you're waiting for it, you're waiting for it, you're excited, you finally get there and then it turns out to be Multiverse of Madness. And you're like, ah, oh. Oh, oh, okay, I, I still dig it, I guess. Um, proportions are great. I mean, I, th I think this is a great looking RC, but the fact that it's loose and it won't snap together right <sighs> takes away some of the uh, appeal, the allure of the character. Let's, let's put her down. We'll, we'll come visit her another day. But let's move on. Let's boldly go where Rick has never gone before. And that is Star Trek. I've never collected the old Playmate Star Trek figures. I absolutely should have. I mean, they were. I mean, they pumped those things out. There were so many of them. But uh, I think I only got Deep Space Nine, and it was all the secondary market. Anyway, this just came out. I don't know if this is a reissue or if this is new, but it it comes out in like, uh, you know, paying homage to the classic '90s Playmates. Uh, Star Trek packaging. So uh, I, I don't know if it's a retool or if, or if it's a whole new thing. Anyway, um, I really love ships. I, I love Star Wars ships. I don't collect Star Wars figures, but I collect Star Wars ships. And I love Star Trek. And so I thought, oh, you know what? Let me get let me get some of these new ships. A little smaller than I was anticipating. You know, again, we talked about the value of your dollar. And I never had 
a Playmates Enterprise back in the day, so I can't tell you how this compares size-wise. Ooh. There's something loose in there. All right. I hope it's just like, I hope the electronics work. It uh, takes a screwdriver to open the uh, electronics pack. Ooh. Makes me a little nervous. There we go. Easy peasy. Love me some Star Trek. Love me some Lower Decks. This is based off the um, classic original television series. It's not my favorite Enterprise. I really like uh, the movie series Enterprise. Um, I think the movie series Enterprise is my favorite out of all the Enterprises. Even Next Gen, which I, I love Next Gen. But I think the movie Enterprise is my favorite one. So there it is. It comes with a cool little stand. You know, and the, you know, Space Force symbol. And uh, this little stand has rivets in it. You can place it in any number of positions. And there we go. I mean, you know, what's good about this, it's really staying in place. That, I'm really happy with that. Huh. I'm really happy with this. I'll put some batteries in it. I think it takes uh, double A's, which I don't have here. But I'm really happy with this. I was thinking today what my favorite part of Star Wars was because I was thinking about a former colleague, Paula. And I love Paula, Paula Walsh. She's absolutely wonderful. She doesn't work at Hasbro anymore. She was absolutely wonderful. and. Uh, Paula once asked uh, a group of people, she said, uh, hey, um, I'm gonna be working on Star Wars. What should I know about Star Wars? Have you seen the movies? No. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. You know what, when a customer comes into the shop today and says, oh, that's too much, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna hit these buttons. Man, metal stations. Oh, I absolutely love this. Oh, this is my new favorite toy. I'm gonna play with this in the bathtub. This is my new favorite toy. Oh, I absolutely love this. I wish it had lights. Prepare for warp maneuvers. Security alert to all decks. Arm photon torpedoes. Man battle stations. I love that. Captain on the bridge. I love that. Absolutely love that. I, you know what? I love this. This is my toy of the week. All right. That being said, hey, I'm going to be at TFCon. I'm going to be setting up a booth. I'm going to be doing some panels at TFCon in Chicago. Uh, I'm going to be doing two panels I've never done before. One panel will be uh, odd licensed goods. And another panel will be, um, hey, look at all these prototypes and stuff. Um, so there'll probably be some things you'll never see. Again, so uh, come check them out. Remember, wash your hands, be kind to each other, be safe, uh, make good decisions, and uh, cut the tape. All right, I want to just. Oh!